So I've cleaned up the wheels. I had a quick look at the pickups and to my surprise I realized that only that wheel and that wheel picks up power on the whole locomotive. Everything else is insulated. So that's a bit disappointing pickup wise. However, that creates a unique opportunity for us to improve traction. Now I'm going to use a product called Bullfrog Snot. I kid you not, that's the name of this Bullfrog Snot. So how this works, it's like a silicone rubber. I'm going to apply mine with a brush. You can apply it with a brush or you can apply it with a little toothpick. Then you just use a little scalpel blade and cut it back down and that should be enough. Now on the bottle, they, on the instructions, they actually recommend that you apply it quite liberal. Um, we'll soon find out. Mine's um, been lying in a box for a while, so it's, it's a little bit uh, gunky. Now when this is dried, it dries clear. So don't worry about the whole thing being green. Front. I don't know, can you guys see this business alright? This is a cheap and easy way to replace traction tires on your locomotive, specifically your steam. And if you have diesels, I just need to improve that a little bit. Increase that a bit. If you've got diesels and you, you're having a bit of trouble with traction, you can apply a little bit of this. But anybody in the locomotive business will tell you that the only way to really improve traction is with weight. I'm going to put it on the other side as well, purely because it's not picking up power anywhere else, and there's no way for me to improve or create power pickups on that side, on the, in that way. Which, like I say, I'm, I was quite shocked and surprised with that. Yeah, that one's good. Not even. Okay, I'll let this dry and I'll show you an update a little bit later. Once it's dry. That's pretty really much sitting. Clear, clear. 